In today's episode, we are going to take a look at how we can get Visual Basic at runtime to load another form and make it the active window until the user resolves that window. Here's an example. When I click on Show Halloween Form, it loads another form that happens to have an image on it and one button, the Return button. Click the Return button, brings me back to the original window. Now, when I show the Halloween form, you'll also notice that when I click on the main form, which is behind it, I cannot make it the active window until I resolve the Halloween form. I start off with a main form that has on it a button that I will click on to load the second form. In the Project Explorer, I must add that second form, find the form, add it to my application. FRM main form is the one that starts my application, so it is called the startup form. To call the second form, load it into memory, I have one line of code that I will put in the event procedure for the command button. I name the form and I call the show method. It is a method because it is attached to an object, which in this case is FRM Halloween form. Now when I click on the button, show Halloween form at runtime, it loads and displays the second form. The return button doesn't work and you'll notice that I can make my original form active over the Halloween form, which is not what I want. First, how do we get the Halloween form to return? In the return command button, I will write one line of code, unload FRM Halloween. Unload is not a method, it is a function. That's why FRM Halloween does not come first. It is an argument that is passed to the unload function. Now when I run it, I can show the Halloween form and I can return which unloads the form from memory and removes it from the display. But the problem still exists where I can make either form active at runtime. When you display a form, you can force the program to resolve that form and not be allowed to make any other form active by setting one parameter to the show method. In my event procedure for the show form command button, I add the VB modal constant to my one line of code. And now when I show that second form, it will not allow me to make any other form within that application active until I remove the Halloween form from memory. Possible error number one. If you remove all forms and then add a form to your project, go back and add that main form again. When I go to run my project, it gives me the error that you must have a startup form. Click OK. And from the startup object, select the form that you wish to start your application with. Problem solved. Error number two, I go to add a form. It tells me that there's an error during load. When I click OK, specifically, form one will not be loaded, name is already in use. That means that the form that I am trying to load shares the same name as one of the forms that is currently in my project. I was lazy and I didn't name my form. Make sure that it has a unique name. Now with a unique name, I can add the other form and give it a unique name as well. 